Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I have already shown you how to take a white hydrangea or any kind of white flower and using the colour sheets, I'll put the link down the bottom there if you're interested in getting them, and how to subtly, or not so subtly, hand colour the flowers to get this the perfect shade that you want for perhaps your decor of your room, whether you've got a special function, you might have a wedding and you have a specific colour of flower that you want in, to, to be incorporated into your design. Now these are the ones that I've done and I absolutely love the colourway. But now that I look at this, I'm actually liking how beautiful and subtle that is. I might have had a heavy hand, but this is the colour that I wanted. So I'm just going to just discard my comments to myself about that. So now I want to show you how you can quickly make a bouquet with only using one flower. So I've got my three, I've got four, three flowers here. Now the number of flowers that you use is going to be determined by the actual size of the bouquet that you want. But I think that with the little bits of green through there, I only want the green and I just want the focus to be on the flowers. Now from there, it's just a matter of holding those into your hand. And this is when I use this thing here. This is called a cable tie. And just bringing the cable tie as high up the stem as you can and then just giving that a really good little tug there and making sure that I actually like to have um, my stems all the same length but you know in nature nothing's perfect so why should I even be beating myself up but that needs a nice big tug into there cutting off that cable tie because we that's got no bearings that's just to hold all my work together and then it's a matter of getting some ribbon and hopefully my glue gun is nearly is it? Is it? Yes, it is. If if you haven't or don't know how to clean a, gl a glue gun, have a look at my quick and easy tutorial on how to clean these up so that they look like brand new again. It's fantastic. Right, this isn't quite as hot as I want it, but it'll do for now. It's just a matter now of taking that ribbon up the stems and then just gently, gently, gently just pulling this quite firmly over the stems. It's never going to be perfect because the stems aren't always going to be all the same size. So I'm just going to just gently just push those through there like that and then just winding and binding that down. Just to, oh, I usually do it sort of like to the width of the hand uh, with, my st with my binding. And then once you get to one end, just take it up all the way up the top to where you started, winding that around a few times. And then my little cheats way is, one moment. It's lost. But normally what I do is when I get to the top here is I just use a lighter and just gently just singe or it's not even singe but just run a hot lighter flame over that and that will just um, seal all of those little ends up over there but for what we're now going to be doing it doesn't really matter just getting another little bit of glue running that through there and then gently 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 just bringing that around and back over to fuse that down or glue that back down on top of that bit of ribbon that you've just cut off so that you can't see it. The next thing I like to do is, I've got, I picked these up from the $2 shop of the Emporium shops, these little wee, um, it's, this is just a wee bracelet but it's got these lovely little blue jewels into it which will be perfect for just embellishing the handle just a little bit further. So it's just a matter of getting your glue, putting a little bit of glue onto that, and then just where I stuck that down, just putting that there, and just holding that until it fuses down on top of that. If you wanted to, you could do even more down there, but what I'm finding is that with my stems here, they're a little bit bulky, so I think that just one will be enough around there. You could put two if you wanted and run them all around, but just a little bit of spark. In fact, I think I want that to be on there straight 
actually so I'll just hold that until that's fused you could even put a nice big brooch onto there but that's a quick oops no hold on it's got to stay like that because that's the way that it's fixed on so there's a quick and easy way of producing a beautiful hand coloured and matching bouquet to highlight and enhance your frock or your decor. Hope you've enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed sharing that with you. See you again another day.